Hey what's happening guys, today I will be reviewing the Mortal Kombat Legends Scorpion's Revenge. If you've never played the game or you have but just not a fan of Mortal Kombat or you just simply do not know what Mortal Kombat is. Mortal Kombat is an American media franchise centered on a series of video games originally developed by Midway Games in 1992. The development of the first game was originally based on an idea that Ed Boon and John Tobias had of making a video game starring Jean-Claude Van Damme. But as that idea fell through, a fantasy themed fighting game was created. Instead, nonetheless, paying homage to him with nutcracking movie star character Johnny Cage. Mortal Kombat was the first ever fighting game to introduce a secret fighter reached if the player fulfilled a set of requirements. This movie is basically an American direct-to-video adult animated martial arts film based on the Mortal Kombat franchise created by Ed Boon and John Tobias. Let's have a read on the back covers to see what it says. After the vicious slaughter of his family by Stone Cold Mercenary Sub-Zero, Hanzo Hasashi is exiled to the torturous Neverrealm. There, in exchange for his servitude to the sinister Quan Chi, he is given a chance to avenge his family and is resurrected as Scorpion, a lost soul bent on revenge. Back on Earth Realm, Raiden gathers a team of elite warriors, Shaolin monk Liu Kang, Special Forces Officer Sonya Blade and action star Johnny Cage. An unlikely band of heroes with one chance to save humanity. To this, they must defeat Shang Tsung's horde of outworld gladiators and reign over the Mortal Kombat tournament. Prepare to witness the bone crushing action in this all new Mortal Kombat Legends animated feature. It is the first Mortal Kombat based property to be produced at Warner Bros Animation after its parent company acquired the franchise in 2009 from Midway Games and the first Mortal Kombat animated project since the 1996 animated series Mortal Kombat Defenders of the Realm. The film centres around the titular character seeking his revenge on those who murdered his family and clan after being resurrected by Huan Chi, while Johnny Cage, Liu Kang and Sonya Blade are chosen to participate on the Mortal Kombat tournament for the fate of Earth Realm. And you are? Not interested. Oh, you will be. They always are. So, are you guys in this thing too? The style of the combat delivers bludgeoning blows with such intricacy and intensity that is incomparable with modern manga and anime. Scorpion's burst like a rage scene is beyond words. The visuals such as Scorpion making a self-made ninja mask from a bit of rag, Sonya Blade blowing a kiss, fighters testing their might or watching Liu Kang's muscle fibres stretch from ghouls pulling tension. All these are superb ways that draw the bridge between staple Mortal Kombat nutrition and a creative flair that is top tier. This masterpiece is extremely ruthless in the way it depicts its characters and flawlessly executes the whole visage in epic format. The movie has superb voice acting. Characters carry so much weight with their speech, it's hard not to pin your ears to the ground. What are you doing? Living for the future. Give me the key. You fool! Shao Kahn will hear about this and kill you. I'm already dead. Now, the next step is to deliver our Sub-Zero's vengeance. You must complete the story. Show us the Grand Master Sub-Zero in all his true glory. Follow the steps. What made Scorpion's vengeance so successful? Thank you for watching guys, do not forget to like and subscribe.